Hey guys, I'm back with my sleek messy buns tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how to do it really quickly and really easily. I'm going to go from this to this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm using a few essential products. I believe that these are really important when doing this tutorial because if not, I won't get my desired results. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with completely dry hair. My hair is just left over from when I had it in a ponytail up under one of my wigs, so you guys can imagine how dry it is. When you have really thick natural hair, it's kind of essential to wet your hair first, otherwise it's going to make everything 10 times more hard for you. Okay, so I know that these types of brushes are really a no-no for a lot of you guys, but this is just what I have to do to get the job done. A lot of y'all can just probably use a wide tooth comb if you don't prefer this method, but this is just what I like to do. Okay, so I'm just going to take Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie and put it all over my hair. I really want to use it to moisturize my hair because, like I said, it was dry. And I also like to use it to define my curls a little bit more. As you can see, the water in the Shea Moisture product really helped the detangling process way more easy. And it's really not as harsh as you guys may think on your hair. My face is so funny here, but basically I had twists left over from when I did my two strand twist, so there was like a little piece stuck, so I just went ahead and detangled that real quick. Okay, so I just went ahead and doubled up my hair tie, and I'm putting my hair into a bun, just so that it's out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab this Eco Style Gel. This is my holy grail product when it comes to making buns, and I'm just going to put that all over the back of my head and the sides of my hair. I am very heavy handed when it comes to this product. And now I'm just taking this bristle brush and I'm just going to brush up all the lumps and bumps from my hair. <laughs> okay, so I just went ahead and took out that temporary bun and now I'm just going to go ahead and put some more Eco Style Gel on my edges and just make sure that they get really, really laid. Do y'all see how nice and flat this Eco Style Gel gets my hair? Like, there is no other product that does me this much justice. And like I said, I am very heavy handed with this product, but if you don't like the product, you don't have to use it, but you guys can see how thick my hair is, and for me, it's kind of essential. Okay, so now I'm just going to put my hair into a bun. It's kind of hard to explain what I do, but if you just watch, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. But if not, I basically grab all of my hair in one hand really tightly, I will let it go, and then I actually wrap my hand back around it and bend the hair back over on itself and pull some of it out slowly. I believe for this particular way your hair has to be a little bit longer but don't worry I have another way that you guys can do it with shorter hair. Okay so now I'm about to go ahead and just snatch my baby hairs real quick. I kind of already did my edges but there's a difference between edges and baby hairs so you know I'm about to go ahead and slay them real quick. Okay so that's all that I do for this one. Um, I'm just going to touch it up a little bit more but pretty much that's all that you do and now I'm going to show you guys how to do the next one. Okay so I'm going to start by just removing the bun and now I'm just going to take the Shea Moisture and I'm just going to define my curls really quickly because as you guys can tell for the first bun it wasn't defined at all. I just like to do that one because it's really big and it's really easy to do. Before I add the Shea Moisture though, y'all saw that I just added some water first just to make it a little bit easier. And so now I'm going to go ahead and apply the product. I'm really heavy handed with all my products actually because I just like to make sure that my hair is really moisturized. And so now you guys can see I'm just raking um, the product through my hair and I'm just making sure that my curls are starting to pop. Again, you see me using the bristle brush a little bit to detangle the ends. And I'm just going to keep on scrunching the hair and go combing through with my hands and just getting it really defined. Okay, so now I'm going to take the end of the hair and wrap it around and basically just pull it around the front and bobby pin it. And that's all that I do for this second button. It's really easy. Okay, so for the third bun, I'm just going to undo that again and just basically wrap it around looser, but it's the exact same thing. I'm just going to do it looser so that it can look bigger. Okay, so now I'm just going to 
Okay, so as I'm preparing to do the last blend, I noticed that my hair got stuck a little bit on the headband. And if that happens to you, just take it off very slowly and do not rush so that you don't end up breaking off any of your ends. Okay, so the reason why I removed the bun completely is because for this last bun, I like for it to be even more sleek. So I'm going to go ahead and brush up the ends again and just make sure that everything is in order. Okay, so now I'm going to basically redo the bun, but like I said, a little bit more tight. And I'm going to bring the hair back over on itself like I did for the very first bun. I'm also pulling the ends through very slowly so I can make sure I get as much hair in the bun as possible. Okay, so since my hair is still wet, it's kind of hard for it to stay in its place. So I'm going to have to manipulate it a little bit and I'm also going to have to add bobby pins. Okay, so if you guys couldn't tell, this is going to be the bun from the pictures that I showed at the beginning of the video. And I'm kind of going for like a top knot, a messy one though, so yeah. Okay, so of course I'm going to go ahead and touch up my edges just because I have OCD, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I don't do this all the time, but I'm also going to go ahead and just lay down my sideburns really quickly. Now I'm pulling out a white tooth comb, and this is like a little thing that I like to do. I don't think I've ever seen anyone else do this, but I just take the comb and I dig it in like I'm about to pull out an afro, but I'm just basically going to pull the bun up higher and higher, and you can do this until you reach your desired height of your bun. Okay, so this is also another trick that I like to do. I'm going to take this bobby pin and actually stick it straight up in the bun. And since my hair is wet, this is just going to help my hair to stay in place. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and take this Lavish Curls Moisturizer. It is a leave-in conditioner. And I'm just going to spray my hair with this because even though my hair is wet right now and it looks really shiny, when it dries, I want to maintain that shininess. So that's what I'm using it for. Okay, so this is the very last step for this last bun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.